when you're not here. What do you got? This place is totally clean. No animals, no hidden drugs or alcohol, no lead in the paint. And since you're not breathing hard, I assume you're not holding Cameron aloft in triumph, which means no seizures. Hey, speaking of breathing hard, Cameron. You engaged with Chase yet? Sorry, we should have clarified. We're calling about the patient, not Dr. Cameron's love life. We aren't engaged. It moves things along much faster to just give him the answers. Seizures can also be induced through... After six years? A year and a half. Through sleep deprivation or... Sleep deprivation would take too long. Are you living together? We spend most nights together. There's a bunch of drugs that can lower a seizure threshold. And cloud the diagnosis with side effects. His place or yours? His, usually. Interesting. You would have said interesting no matter what the answer. And no matter what the answer, it would have been interesting. No engagement, commitment issues. His place, control issues. Not sure whose, but interesting. Yeah, it moves much faster this way. Where was the patient when he had his first seizure? In his entry hallway, getting his mail. Getting close to the outdoors. Spooked him. Raise his BP. I use that fear. Bring him outside. He punched out a fireman. We're doctors, not bouncers. Okay. So bring the outside to him. Floors, genuine wood. Why are they here? They overheard me announce the half price bank foreclosure in the ER waiting room. Where's everybody? Cameron's with the patient. Uh, everybody else went home. Because they don't need to be here. Neither do you. And yet you are. This way. Uh, molding's original? Original? They were here before the house. The shut-in's also original. Come on, don't be shy. House, get them out of here. Easy for you to say. You're not going to be making uh, some serious uh, capital gains. This is cruel. Uh, and leaving him undiagnosed is what? Altruistic? Uh, 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 Procedure worked. Uh, He's seizing. What do you see? Normal theta. Normal delta. Uh, this isn't a seizure. Uh, something. Mr. Rosick, are you okay? The stomach's killing me. See? It's something. Partial small bowel obstruction. Blockage explains the pain. What explains the blockage plus seizures? Atrial fibrillation throwing emboli. Crohn's causing an abscess? Can be a million things. There's no way to know unless we get him in for an MRI on his head or exploratory surgery so we can biopsy his bowels, which he won't let us do. Wouldn't. Pain changes things. House. He told you to stay out of here. He can chase me out once he's done doubling up in agony. Whatever your big problem is, it's caused a complication we call colon FOS. F-O full of. Since we're in mixed company, S is stool. Nothing's coming out. So the pain's gonna get worse and worse. So we need to stick a poopa scooper in you. We also need to take a look at your bowel. I made my wishes clear. Uh-huh. And if the crazy fairy were here, she could grant them. I'm not insane. I, I feel pain when I go outside. So it it's rational to avoid that pain. Except now you're feeling pain inside. Well, not as bad, nowhere near. We can give him drugs for the blockage. If it doesn't work, that blockage will rupture your intestines, spew sewage throughout your body. Whatever you're scared of out there, aren't you more scared of death? You obviously can't stand people. But for me, it's worse, all right? I'd rather die in here than live out there. If you don't mind floppy hair, Annoying accent. I know a surgeon who'll operate in your home. Thank you. 
with the risk of infection, Chase won't actually... He's not gonna do surgery in some crazy dude's house. You just said... What I said was that Chase would put him under at the house, would take him to the hospital, open him up to our thing, and slip him back into his room for the post-op without him ever finding out that we tricked him. So that was implied. It's unethical. He'll be asleep. He gets to make his own calls even if he's asleep. Why are you siding with him? Oh, yeah, you're that girl who likes broken people because her husband died, and since Chase isn't all that broken... Hey, why don't we operate on his infarcted leg while we're at it? Who cares if he said no? I was risking my life to avoid becoming a cripple. He's doing it to avoid sunlight and fresh air. We've got to make it look good. I know I'm a pain in the ass. I know it would have been easy just to walk away, but you're a good person. Count down from ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Let's go. Tell me you're done. I thought we could try that new sushi place next to my house. Why don't we stay at my house tonight? I mean, why don't we stay at mine? Well, that's what I mean. I mean. We used to split it. What happened? I don't know. Closer to work? By five minutes. And my house doesn't look like it was decorated by a drunk rugby player. Well, we can discuss it. I haven't really... Why does it have to be a discussion? Can't you just stay over? You do know they page me when that much surgical equipment is signed out. He didn't consent. He consented to the surgery. You think he's gonna sue over where? He won't even know where. He'll wake up in his house. He won't know a thing about what happened. Until he catches a post-surgical infection in his dirty apartment and finds out we tricked him and winds up owning the hospital. Why aren't you arguing with her? Because she's right. I don't care where he gets the post-op, just that he gets it. Keep him here. House. You okay? Yes. We don't need to talk. Your hand. Huh. It's weird. I usually don't get the stigmata until Easter. Please tell Dr. Chase the patient's ready for him now. Stuart, wake up. It's Dr. Cameron. If you can hear me, blink. We were concerned for your safety, so we brought you to the hospital. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. I just wanted to keep you informed. I didn't want you to have a bad shock while you were recovering from surgery. It's okay, Stuart. Calm down. Calm down. Stuart. Stuart, I'm going to sedate you. I'm going to sedate you. No! Calm down. I need some help in here! Damn it! Somebody get in here! What did you do? Well done. Your patient called his lawyer, threatened to sue us, and is now heading home, completely undiagnosed. He'll soon be on his way back. He's sick. He'll crash, he'll lose consciousness. I'll declare an emergency, bring him back in. Not anymore, you won't. His lawyer now holds his health care proxy. The next time we have an emergency, Larry Rusekis, Esquire, will be calling the shots. I made the right call. If he'd flipped out after major surgery, it would have been worse. The benefit of being boss is that I don't have to argue. You're all off the case.